YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury on a budget, so if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe, like the videos that you enjoy, and click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post a new video. Today I'm doing a wear and tear on my two Neverfulls, but I'm going to focus mostly on this one because I bought it brand new. Uh, three years ago, so I'll do a three-year three year wear and tear, whereas this one I purchased pre-loved, and it's a little harder to do a wear and tear on that because I don't know what this bag went through before it was in my hands, but I can show you some of the wear and tear on it. I know the Neverfull is one of the most popular Louis Vuitton bags, and before people drop that kind of money, you wanna know what to expect from the bag and will it last. I will say that this Neverfull, I haven't been using as much lately, but I used to use it all the time. It was pretty much a daily bag, and I've been very impressed with how well this has held up. The Azure Neverfull, I have used less, but that's only because it's Azure. I tend to wear dark colors, so I don't reach for a light-colored bag very often. Let's start going over the Ben Neverfull. Again, I purchased this brand new three years ago, and let's look at some of the issues that it has, which are pretty minor, and some of the things that I was wondering about when I first purchased it and how that has turned out. Um, I think you can see that looks like a scratch, and then down here looks like some white scratches on the corners. The white stuff is just from how I store the bag. I have it up in a shelf on my closet and it rubs against the drywall. So that will come right off with just a little bit of rubbing. Some of the white that you're seeing too is just glare. I just rubbed on this bottom corner, those two marks that you saw, the vertical marks came out, but you can see that there's still some marking on the corner there. Those corners are going to get wear because this bag doesn't have feet. There's no protection other than the coated canvas here. So that will get some wear over time. And I do not baby my Neverfulls, especially this one. I treat this like a workhorse. So this thing gets thrown around. I'm one of those people who puts bags on the floor when I don't have anywhere else to put it. I'm okay with that. Just wipe it down like with an alcohol-free baby wipe. As long as it's not Vachetta, I wouldn't put that on the floor. But let me give you, I guess, an overview of the bag first so you can see. And this is that corner that has the wear on it. I see a little rubbing on one of the other corners. This corner here, maybe it's a little difficult to see, but there's a little bit of rubbing on the pattern where it sort of looks black. Um, if you don't know, these coated canvas bags, the, um, the checkerboard print, which is actually made up of lots of little lines you can see there, that sometimes will rub off in areas that get worn a lot, that are touched a lot, like not with your hands, but where it rubs against things. So that is just the, the color underneath the paint or whatever material is used to make the checkerboard pattern. So that was the bottom of the bag and the bottom corners. Here is the front. I mentioned the scratch right here. That happened within the first few months of me getting the bag. I took it on an airplane and that scratch happened on the airplane when I put it under my seat. And there was also a nick in the leather somewhere and it's hard to find. Something on the airline seat kind of scratched the edge of the bag where it, it peeled off, like it, it just scratched this piece of the strap off and we'll look at the straps in a little more detail later those are the only damage that i've ever done to the bag as far as i can remember so i don't see any other wear to the exterior canvas everything else looks really good i know a few of the newer bags I'm not sure if this is happening on neverfulls some of the other bags are having problems with the coating on top of the bag a clear coating that's what gives the bag the shine that you see on the canvas some people are having trouble with that coating peeling. If you do ever have that issue, just take it into Vuitton and they should take care of that for you. Either repair it or give you a brand new bag, depending on how old the bag is. I don't know what their limit is. Their customer service is wonky and all over the place. So now I'm looking at the cinching straps and the little chaps here. I'm going to look for any wear to those. I have cinched this bag a few times and People say you shouldn't do that too much because you could crack, and if you don't know what cinching is, it's where you, you 
put the bag like this. You kind of pinch the sides in. Then you uh, push this little strap up where that stays like that. So you do that on both sides. So that puts some pressure points on the edges that are curved and bent right here. So you don't want to store it that way for sure. I think carrying it that way from time to time is just fine. That shouldn't hurt it. I wouldn't carry it like that all the time. I don't see any damage or wear to this strap. It looks brand new. And the second strap, I don't see any damage. One thing I want to mention that I see here, and I'll show you on the handles and the piping around the trim too, is that the leather does tend to wrinkle. The coated Aben leather wrinkles as well as the Vachetta, the uncoated leather. I think it's most obvious on the trim. So I'll show you, see right up here, you see some wrinkles. That's totally normal. Some people aren't sure of the, about that. I see them talking in the Facebook groups and posting pictures about the leather wrinkling and is that normal or is it a defect? It's totally normal. And the same thing is gonna happen on the straps, especially right in this area. You might be able to see a little bit of wrinkling right in here. That's normal too. There's also some wrinkling on the leather there. You can see it's, it's pretty much throughout different spots on these straps and on the trim, but you'll especially see it where the handles tend to fold over like at those points or around the corners of the bag. I'm also looking over this bag, I don't see any tarnishing to the hardware. The newer bags like this one is, they don't use solid brass hardware anymore. So this is some kind of silver metal that's coated in a brass colored coating and then coated again, at least I think coated again in some kind of a clear coat. And if you look at pre-loved bags, you'll see sometimes that the hardware is worn when it's originally a gold color, you'll see silver showing through and I don't have that issue on this bag after three years of using it. I also wanna say that the scratch that's on this bag right here is really not very noticeable at all in person. I just was looking at it and had a hard time figuring out which side it was on. It's showing up more on the camera because of the abilities of the camera and the lighting and all that, but it's not something that you'd see. Same thing with the corner wear. It's not gonna be obvious to you when you're carrying the bag around. A lot of times in my experience when I'm shopping pre-loved, and I see corner wear or scratches, once I get it in person, you can barely even tell they're there. It just shows up more on camera. So if you shop pre-loved, you might wanna keep that in mind, especially if it's an item that you can return. Don't let smaller things like that deter you from buying something you really want. Get it in person and see how it looks, and then you can make your decision. All right, well, that's the outside of the bag. Let's look inside. I keep mine stored with a felt organizer. And then I also put this little pillow in the top or um, in my Azure Never Full. I have this organizer, the lighter color, and I have bubble wrap that I put inside to fill up the top and so that the straps aren't hanging like this or I don't want the Vachetta touching itself is basically the point there. The reason for that is that if you leave the Vachetta, let's say the strap is hanging like this, then the Vachetta is darkening, but the one spot where they're touching doesn't get the sunlight in the air, so it could leave a lighter spot there. So I keep the bag like this for storage, and uh, that has worked really well for me. Okay, so the interior of this bag, I'm gonna take that organizer out. The interior looks like this. I don't have any staining. I'm careful to keep my things either in the felt organizer or in pouches. I don't have things just laying around in my bags. I also, unless I'm like in a hurry and don't have another place to put it, I don't throw my keys loose. I always have them in a pouch so that they don't scratch or discolor the bag because keys are dirty and you know they can discolor. Now one thing that I do notice, and I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, I saw it a second ago. You see at the bottom in the corner there, it looks a little dirty and maybe a little bit lighter color. That's from storage, dust getting in, or from using it out in the world, dust getting in. What I have done before is, and it's a little difficult to do, but turn this bag inside out, and then I get a roll of clear tape, like packing tape, and I just press it against the inside of the bag, and you have to get several pieces, and it'll pick up lint and dust It'll get all that out without damaging the bag. None of the hardware inside has any problems either, other than the dust 
looks like new. This pocket is not lined. This is the new model, never full. It came with the pouch, but I'm not showing you the pouch because it looks brand new because I never really use it. I don't really use that big pocket either. I've started to use it a little bit more lately when I've carried things. Like I'll put a card case in there maybe to keep it extra secure in the zipped area, but otherwise, haven't really used that pocket. I haven't used the D-ring too much either. Now, I would say that for three years of pretty constant use other than the last few months, it does have a little bit of wear, that corner wear and the scratch, but it's so minimal. I would say this is definitely worth it if you're considering spending the money and you really want to never full. The Ben one, because of the coated leather, is especially sturdy. I know some people have talked about having problems with the Aben straps digging into their shoulder. I haven't had that problem at all. I've never found this bag uncomfortable other than when I've just put too much stuff in it and it's too heavy. But I don't think that the Aben straps are really any less comfortable than the Vachetta straps. The Vachetta straps are much softer and they feel nice. I've never found either of them uncomfortable. One thing that I wondered about when I bought this bag is these Aben straps would stand straight up even a little more than they're doing now now they lean a little bit and you can see that there's a little bit of an arch inward i've seen people with the bend bags where the straps are just as floppy as the Vachetta ones where they'll hang over like this, the Aben ones. But that has definitely not happened to my bag yet. I think it probably will after many more years of use, of a lot of use, since I have seen a little bit of a difference in that. But overall, they do tend, they do tend to stand up. And when I store it, I keep them pretty much up like this. Now again, on this bag, I won't go through every detail because I don't know its story, but I'll show you some of the wear that it does have. One of the things that people worry about with Vachetta bags is patina and marks on the Vachetta, and people also worry about color transfer on the Azure. I don't think I've had either of those too much. I don't think I've had problems with them. Um, this is the back of the bag here. So this is the side that has the pocket on the other side of it. Does that make sense? So this is where I would get color transfer because it would be up against my clothing. I am careful not to wear things that are brand new and haven't been washed a few times with my Azure pieces because I'm aware of that color transfer issue. The only thing I would say, and again, it's hard to say because I don't remember quite what shape this was in when I purchased it, and I don't know that this is gonna come across really well, but I noticed recently when I carried this bag that this chap seems to be a little bit darker than the other one, and I wondered if that was a bit of color transfer or if it's just dirty. I do think looking at this that I should probably clean it, but I'm not sure exactly how I would want to do that. With the Vachetta, sometimes you do wanna clean it, sometimes it gets dry and cracked, there are places on this that look a little dry to me at first, but I think it's just regular wrinkling. So like right here along the trim, same place that I showed you on the Aben bag, it has that wrinkling. Um, again, I don't know how well that's really showing up, but it almost looks like it's about to crack, but then when I start to move it around, it's not cracking and it does feel supple still. It, it doesn't feel dry. So I'm really not that worried about it. Um, another thing that you might notice with the Neverfulls, I saw somebody ask about this on the Facebook group recently, is the trim is going to have a seam on the outside and on, and on this Vachetta one, the corner, the bottom corner of the seam there is flipping up just a little bit. That's normal, it's not a defect in the bag. There is one mark on this chap right there, but I think that was there when I got the bag. Don't really remember. Corner wear on this bag, I do see some. I do see a little corner wear right there. You may be able to tell where, again, that checkerboard pattern is worn a little bit. And some bags that have been heavily, heavily used, I've seen this mostly on speedies. You'll be able to see the color of the canvas, like the interior color of the canvas, through the exterior. Like, for example, on an Aben bag that's worn that much, instead of brown, you'd see red, the red interior through the brown, not good. I would not recommend buying a pre-loved bag where you can see the interior through the bag. That's called the hole, basically. It doesn't go all the way through, but that is not where that can be fixed, so don't buy that. You do get some wrinkling on the chaps, too, just like 
the Ben leather, just like the trim up here. And then one thing I want to point out too is on a new bag that has the vachetta, you're going to see kind of a bright red glazing on the edge of the vachetta. Over time, that glazing will wear down and it will darken and it will in some places look like there's no glazing there anymore and then some it will it's just a darker color like a maroon and that is totally normal too on the vachetta you will have some darkening on the vachetta itself not just the glazing where you touch it the most so that's why you tend to see on never full handles and speedy handles you'll get a darker vachetta up here more of a not black hopefully but it's not like a darker patina it's dirt from your hands so that's something to look for. Again, it's normal, but it depends on what kind of wear you're looking for in a pre-loved bag. And it's my understanding that if you wear lotions on your hand, that will happen more often. So I do always make sure I have clean hands when I touch Vachetta. Some of the wear that I see on this is so subtle that it's not gonna come across on camera very well, but on the little chaps here, um, just right along this edge that would stick out a little bit because it has the d-ring inside of it that on a few of these looks like it has a little bit of dirt right there maybe from rubbing against clothing i'm not sure exactly but that's a place that could get some color transfer the bottom of this bag looks great i haven't seen any damage to the canvas other than the corner wear no scratches or anything like i have on my ben bag now for the interior if this had originally been my bag if i had bought it brand new it would not be this dirty inside uh, i got a really good price on this from tradesy and overall the condition was great enough and the price was great enough that i wanted to purchase it but it does have some dirt inside you can see a little bit of staining nothing really bad it's minor stuff from whatever the lady before me had in this bag and this is the older style bag that has the flowers on the interior and the louis vuitton in script and i want to show you the interior of the pocket if you want an old style bag pre-loved then this is something to be aware of the interior again i don't know if you'll be able to see it very well but it has this clear plasticky coating that's a little shiny there you go on some bags that coating will peel so you want to make sure that you ask for pictures of that if you're looking for a pre-loved item the hardware on this bag hasn't tarnished either it's still the gold color and if you don't know the date code is under this flap and it's going to be a little hard to find because it's way up in this corner. This bag for reference is from 2010. I'm filming this in 2019. So this bag is nine years old and it still looks this good. It has a little bit of corner wear. It definitely has some patina, a few marks on the vachetta, but I mean, talk about value for your money. These bags are expensive, but they hold up. They also hold their value and sometimes gain value. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, that's a good reason. It's a few good reasons. My Ben bag, let's look at the date code on that. The tag is in the same place there under the flap. This one's harder to get to. It's sewn in a little higher. This is from 2016, so that would make sense that it's three years old since I'm doing a three year wear and tear. If you already have a Neverfull, how old is it and what wear and tear have you seen on it? And if you're thinking about getting a Neverfull, what questions do you have about the wear and tear? Leave all that in the comment section below and I or other people in the community can help you out with that, I hope. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck on your Neverfull hunt if you are hunting for one. I do highly recommend those bags they are workhorse bags they hold up well they're lovely i think they're worth the money thanks so much for watching have a fantastic day bye